What's up guys, it's Morgan from Lynchpin. Decided to get outside today, it's beautiful, so sorry if the video is a little choppy or anything of that nature, but I wanted to address a couple of questions so that have been coming from both new traders, old traders, you know, just opinions they're wanting from me, so let's get into it. All right, so first things first, should I be focused on just investing or investing in trading? 1000%, I think you should do both. Here's why. Whether the market's up or down, your investments are gonna be affected. Trading, you can be in and out instantaneously. So for me, I like to have options with both. Currently, my, the accounts that I personally have are a 401k that has an employer match. I have a Roth IRA. I have a swing trading account that positions are usually anywhere from a couple of weeks to a couple of months to maybe a year potentially, but usually no less than, or no more than six months. And then finally I have my day trading account and I kind of treat my crypto that same way. I just have one crypto account. I do have some long-term crypto investments. I've been in crypto since 2015, but I do also trade in that account, so just FYI on that. Second, best broker to use. Now this is gonna be based on opinion and I haven't used every broker. I will tell you that obviously TD Ameritrade's my favorite, that's the one that I my go-to. Um, I will say that Webull tends to be pretty good, Fidelity's pretty good. Um, I haven't used some of the other trading platforms that might be popular. I have used Robinhood, I hate it, but I do still have an account, so just in case I need to trade something or hold something. I compartmentalize my trading strategies because it makes it easier to track. Next question, should I be looking at buying scanners or courses from anyone? Here's my two cents. I've bought four or five courses, they were all shit. So I would say no, um, don't get me wrong, that's by no means everybody, there are some good traders out there. But my opinion is, and obviously I'm biased, I'm doing YouTube channel videos for free, but I'm just saying there are free resources out there to where you don't need to go spend money on a special scanner. I, I think a lot of times they're convoluted and they don't really even show you what they're doing. Most of those guys won't even show you a live trade, which is pretty ridiculous in my opinion. So stick to the free stuff, especially on YouTube. If you have people who are willing to trade live, that's pretty good. And finally, what's a good account a st starting amount? So for me, I actually started all of my accounts with just $200. So. Um, the reason I started so small is because it gives me a chance to grow that account, but also if I lose out, it's not going to hurt me, you know, and depending on your financial situation, you could start way higher than that. I'm just saying like, if I had my five accounts, I would start with $200 outside of my retirement account. And that's just until I got the hang of things. And then I'd be willing to definitely up that and start, you know, adding into those accounts. But for me, I like that low risk test it out strategy first to make sure you kind of get a feel for and know what you're doing, especially if you're first starting out. Now, if you are someone who has already started out, then maybe you can consider going a lot bigger. And just to wrap things up for you guys, um, if you have any requested videos from me, feel free to ask questions down in the comments down below, uh, DM me, whatever. I'm happy to try to do videos based on, on what everybody wants. You know, I have a few people I'm biased towards as far as friends and family that I kind of started the channel for. But again, if you have things that you want to see, please let me know and I'll be sure to get those out at the end. So thanks for stopping by. Have a great day and we'll be seeing you.